Hello everyone! So today we are doing tr Random Trivia with Silva. Now, I'm not sure this will become a real series. We will see. Now, today we're going to talk about anticoagulants. Some of you may know what these are, some of you may not. Now, and let's put it into perspective. I'm pretty sure many of you know what a leech is. It sucks on blood as its food source. Some of them suck human, most of them suck animal. Although we are animals, so... But I mean, they do not suck human blood. At least not, not unless they have to or they're starving. But some people may think, for the ones that do suck human blood, why one of two things, or maybe both? Why do the wounds keep bleeding even after the leech pops off? And two, why does it keep going in at such a fast rate? Now, the answer to both of these questions is the anticoagulant in their saliva. This anticoagulant, when they stick onto someone, goes into their bloodstream. And what the, this anticoagulant does is it does stuff to your platelets. Now, what it does is it basically makes them not respond, I believe, or maybe they dissolve, either or. It's still bad. But they do not clog the, woo the open wound and keep it from bleeding. So basically, even after the, the leech has had its fill, it, the wound will keep on bleeding until the platelets actually re begin to respond and fix themselves enough to actually clog the wound. Now, Brave Wilderness after the video where he showed the effects of a leech bite and also how to clean one. So I'll put both of those in the description and that'll hopefully help you guys out in case you want to actually research this as well. Also, they're pretty cool videos. Um, Brave Wilderness does things for... Okay, this isn't about him, but he's a good... He's a cool guy. I suggest checking him out. Again, the two videos will be in the description. But for now. Now, I have a, some, a story from a story of something that happened in the story. Now, the story was made by Molly Harper, and it is nice. It's nice girls don't, don't bite their neighbors, but it's in, within the series of Jane Jameson, like in a vampire series. It's a very good, very good books, book series, but that's my own opinion. Now, let me tell you the fact in one of the scenes. Now, one of the characters got shot with an arrow. This arrow had rat, a high amount of rat poison, aspirin, and caffeine on the tip of it. They are all vampires, so obviously the wound will close up. So how could it cause damage? Hmm. Well, the specific anticoagulant used in rat poison, if there's too much of it, it causes internal bleeding. So... Combine that with aspirin. Aspirin helps with that effect, so combine aspirin and this poison with caffeine. Caffeine helps keep you awake, but it also speeds up your bloodstream and your blood flow. This means that it will make you ble bleed faster. So even after his wound healed and he seemed fine, he started coughing up blood, puking blood, a severe bloody nose, and crying blood. Basically, blood was coming out of every easy-to-access exit slash entrance. Although, for two of those, you would hope that you would not have to insert anything into them, such as the eye or nose. But, those are two stories. I thank you for watching. Next time, on Wednesday, we will be going over white phosphorite bullets. Bullets so deadly that they were removed from war. Plus, they are completely against morals. But... For the rest of these, I need your guys' opinion on what you want me to do. Leave those in the comments below, please. And if you enjoyed this, leave a like. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and goodbye.